Hmm. Do I think I can kill... It ignores strengthen, stone skin, block damage, ally protect. It ignores everything, so... Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Hello, hello. It's time for another live arena video. Um, first things first, what's changed on the account since the last one? Well, uh, if you watch my shard polls and you can see it on screen, you'll know that we got Georgia the Breaker. Georgia has been like my one of my number one, if not the number one most wanted void legendary champion uh, for my account particularly because he is such a strong nuker in go first teams <clears throat> thanks to his ability to cut through stone skin strengthen basically all the defensive buffs and oh, like a one shot an enemy which then grants him an extra turn allowing him to come in and then nuke them again he also has this insane passive where he has a 50 percent chance of ignoring 50 percent of the target's defense um and so he's all around probably the number one like attack based go first nuker in the game i don't even think it's close i think he's pretty much way better than everybody else um so yeah we got him i'll go ahead and show you his build real quick i have him built with uh about 6700 attack uh 250 crit damage 100 crit rate and about 237 speed once i finish uh improving his gear a little bit um we can push those stats up a tad i you know have some ascensions to do on the top row pieces uh and i also want to put some faster glyphs on him as well I, I ideally would like him to be about 260 speed because i don't have any um like faction guardians for speed or ascensions or anything like that i don't know um if it's if he's gonna be able to do enough damage with that running that fast but that would basically allow him to be speed tuned with something like a arbiter into kaja into georgian uh so that's what we're thinking right now we'll see how i feel um going forward like i don't know i, I need to test him out he's one of those champions where it's like it's hard to judge exactly where i need him to be until i actually build him and use him uh, another thing to note is that i have not booked him yet um which he's definitely the top priority but i'm gonna wait until the champ training event we have in a few days uh because i cleared out like a ton of my food to clear up all the space to pull all the void shards and then we got him like a couple of shards in so now i i don't have like all the food i would necessarily want to do that event and you know it's just a couple of days we'll be patient and we'll pull him but i'm going to be using him a lot in live arena today um in terms of his blessing i had originally had him in uh what's it called uh is it soul not soul reap life harvest um i decided to put him into phantom touch it's only a one star so it's not great uh, definitely want to um, focus on getting a lot of blessings for him. He's going to be a top priority going forward. Probably try and buy them whenever I can, although I really do want to get my Arbiter maxed out. Um, other things that have happened, uh, by the time this video goes out, the other one, uh, the Shard Pull video for the Kaja summons will also go out. We did pull a Kaja while doing the Guaranteed for Kaja, so I have two of her now, um, although I haven't summoned the next one yet. We'll do that in the Champ um, Chase Tournament. The nice thing about this is because she's a banner lord, we will get another faction guardians, which is going to get me a little bit more accuracy on my banner lords, which is nice for my Saltus. Um, I definitely am really interested in building this champion. The more I look into her and the more I like think about how I want to use her, I'm actually really, really excited to start using Kaja, uh, and I want to build her out uh, pretty soon. But books are an issue, and um, just you know, being resource efficient. So probably during the next CVC, I'll buy a big energy pack and. Um, or I'll pop a big energy pack and we'll run a bunch of Minotaur and things to get all our masteries done and maybe book her out then. But yeah, really excited to start using this champion. Um, okay, that's uh, that's enough preamble. Let's go ahead and jump into some fights. Where we're at in the leaderboards, we're ranked 358. So I haven't really moved up at all. Um, haven't really moved down either. Uh, you know, it's ping-ponging back and forth every time. So let's see how this goes. Did 10 fights earlier on stream. I'm going to start streaming... Uh, I guess with the, the new changes uh, to the Twitch Terms of Service, I can stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So I'm going to start doing some of my live streams, which I do mainly for Black Desert Online, but I, I typically dual stream BDO and uh, Raid at the same time. I'm going to start uh, linking those to this YouTube channel as well. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. 
Um, all right, so we've got a sea fee. We're going to open Arbiter and Warlord. Now that I have Georgid, and because he ignores things like the increased defense buff and, um, you know, a lot, of, yeah, I mean, basically just the increased defense buff and some of the other stuff, I'm starting to feel a little less uh, concerned about. Um, about letting Sifi go first, actually. Um, I think it's it's been a little bit less of a problem. Uh, let's see how we want to play this here. We're definitely going to need to bring in Georgia, but I am a little concerned about... You know what? Let's just go Staltis, Georgia. Oops. Let's see what he picks. I mean, I... Oh, yeah, actually, no, I'll be fine if I go salt this Georgian. I was thinking, oh, he might ban the Georgian, then I'll be screwed. But no, we'll have Warlord to lock out the bombs. So we'll be fine with this, actually. I'm assuming these guys are in stone skin, or at least one of them is in stone skin. Um, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Uh, okay, so how do we want to play around this? I think we just go ahead and pick Pytheon. And we ban the... Edgemon. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Interesting. He opted to ban the um, the Pytheon. Okay. So, I mean, I feel like we're going to be fine. Yeah. Okay, he left. <laughs> I was like, as long as we win the speed race, we should win the fight. And even if we don't win the speed race, because CP gives such a small turn meter boost, I assume that uh, unless there was something weird, it did look like his nukers were really fast, but he would have to have them speed tuned with Sifi to cut in basically and insta give me um, before I could lock out with Warlord. So I wasn't super worried about that. Possible, but we won the speed race anyway, so it didn't matter. Kaja would have been so good right there, by the way. Instead of Pytheon, she would be a she would have been a better option. Another reason why I really am excited to get her. Okay, um, we go with the Georgian. I think I am gonna pick the Georgian. No. Let's go with the Staltus, actually. Let's save the Georgia pick. If I pick Georgia, he's probably going to counter with, like, a UDK or something. Um, I kind of like to do surprise Georgia because, yeah, okay, perfect. So we're going to go Georgia, Romantu. Surprise Georgia is really nice because it, it gives them much less options to counter. He has to pick a Nuker here. Um... And we're pro I'm probably going to ban the Necrit, actually. Because the Necrit's the only thing with Polymorph so far. I mean, we could run into problems if it's a super fast Marichka. Uh... Yeah, let's ban the Necrit. I'm like sitting here thinking about this. I'm like, no, I can just one shot the. Um... I can just one shot the. Half rack. This could be an issue with the super fast Wukong. I think that's unlikely, since it's a new. It should be a nuker. It's a super fast Duchess. Interesting. Uh, annoying, but I think it's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we block the passive on the Hefrak. Oh, 
Come on, of course. I did not block the passive on the Wukong, though. Although it only has the stun. Uh, this is pretty annoying, actually. But the... The Hefrak came in to kill the uh, Georgian. Um, let's see if we can land this. Nope. Oh, we landed one. God, of course the nukers are always getting dragged in by Marichka. Give me a break, dude. Um... got to kill the Marichka first, right? Yeah, I might be screwed here, to be honest. I'm smart with the Arbiter van. I'm trying to think if there's like any hope. this bummer yeah those are interesting builds on both those champions they were like super fast didn't his duchess go before my warlord it was like a 300 something speed duchess it's weird I was not expecting that. Um, I'm starting to open with Arbiter because I want... This is the same guy. Uh, so we'll just bring in... Um, let's see. I don't want to play this. I think we're going to go Foley. Got the Necrit again. So we're going to go Georgid. And Deacon. plan here is to oh we went with Baron maybe we want to ban the Duchess Try banning the Duchess. We know it's a really fast Duchess.
do this. Uh, I don't want to kill the Wukong. Okay. Now I want to wait for the um, Georgid A2 to come back. Uh, and then I want to kill the Marichka, get the extra turn, and one-shot them with the A2. Um, sure. I don't know why I did that. It might have been a mistake to waste the, um, okay, interesting. He's going after my arbiter. Okay, he did not land the... Uh, no, I think we need to save the revive. Let's just try and take out the Necrit. I assume the Georgian's going to die, but that's fine. Hmm. Do I think I can kill... It ignores Strengthen, Stone Skin... Block damage, ally protection. It ignores everything, so... Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Nice. Awesome. Georgia doing some work right there. Yeah, he's really good for taking down Marichka like that, just because the auto-revive doesn't do anything if he immediately gets to nuke everyone back down. Another fight where, um, where Kaja would have been a much superior option to Deacon. Um, yeah, we'll do this for now. Definitely thinking we're going to bring in the Georgian for this. We know he's not going to be running a speed team. Because he's already picked two non-gopher supports. Unless there's, like, some champion he picks that we have to ban in the nuker slot, but that would be unlikely. I mean, it would have to be... Who would it have to be? I guess Tormund could be a problem. But if that was the case, I wouldn't even run. Okay, perfect. Um, so we'll go with Georgian... And who do we want as our last support? Um, maybe Pythium? Actually, you know what? Let's go with Necrit. Yeah, Necrit's a good option. That way, if he bans the um, Arbiter will still be fine. Right now, I kind of want to ban the Mighty Uko. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Uko ban. Oh, I just realized we can't kill both the Leorius and the Hefrak. I think we do this anyway.
Um, who's the bigger threat, Leorius or Hefrak? Leorius. Yep, okay, that's what I thought. George is just so weak to, um, to stone skin. Or, no, sorry, not to stone skin, to bolster. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and throw that up on Arbiter. Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine, because we're going to come in here. Slam with that. Damn, didn't kill her. It's kind of annoying. I think we need to take out the... Uh... Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, I think we're going to be fine. Come on, Georgian. Uh, I think I should just save that. Cool. Dude, Georgian's a monster, man. He is getting it. He is doing some work. We haven't even booked him yet. That Hefrek actually hurt me a lot, though. Killed my, um, my, uh, Necrit. But Necrot was the right pick there, for sure. I totally wasn't thinking, like, oh, I need to kill both Georgid and, um, or both Leorius and, uh, and, oh, I should have picked these in the other order. Whoops, my bad. Um, I need to kill both uh, Leorius and Hefrak. Honestly, what I should have done is picked Rhodos and just left, um, and just run three nukers. I think it would have been fine. Uh, okay. Definitely a team we will go ahead and bring Georgid. Um, I'm thinking... <coughs> yeah, let's go Georgid salt this. We're presuming he's not going to use a go first team. <laughs> I'm probably going to bring in Pythion as a counter to um, Thrala. Uh, yeah. I think we want to ban here. Part of me thinks we should ban. Actually, if we ban Leorius, screw it. Um, let's see, how do we want to play this? Oh, that's annoying. I 
shoot. I really needed his, um, I really needed his lock. Debuffs right there. Oh, nice. Why did, uh, why did Brassclad's passive not proc there? I was hoping she didn't have that yet. Um... I can do here. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's. There's. Oh my god. Why didn't this passive proc earlier? That's so weird. Oh, did it not. Did it not proc because he was killed by. Um, by what's it called by soul reap should just ban the tormen that's stupid I tried to be cute all right gg Yeah, that was dumb. I could have just banned the Tormund, killed the... Well, I guess I was worried about the Georgid. <sighs> what would have been the right play there? Or not Georgid. I was worried about the um, Goffred. You know what the right play would have been? It would have been to have Kaja the Rye on my team. If I had Kaja... Actually, he would have banned Kaja. He left Warlord up. Um, you know what the right play might have been? Maybe use Warlords A2 instead of Warlords A3. Could have worked. Maybe. I should have checked how fast the Tormund was. It was just rough because we got like counterpicked twice. Okay. Um. What do I want to bring in here? I think we go Deacon. I want to go Deacon. Don't know. I want to go Kaimar. No, let's just go Deacon. Right now, I'm thinking about banning the war, uh, the UDK and picking Georgid. Let's see what he picks, though. Yeah, let's do that. Be 
good chance he bans the Georgian. In which case, the Mithrala can be kind of annoying. But we'll probably go before it since we have Deacon on the team too. And then we can block debuffs with Warlord on the second go around. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, how do we want to play this? Oh, I didn't get the Mithral. That's annoying. Killer with this. This is going to be tough. I assume Harima is going to kill everyone. Oh, interesting. She weak hit the... Oh my god, are you kidding me? No, dude. She's so low. We totally would have won this if we had... Um... Well, I shouldn't say we totally would have won this, but if George had was booked, we would have done better. All right, GG. I was not really expecting a stone skin Harima. That's kind of rare. You don't see a lot of stone skin Harima. I honestly think it's kind of bad. But it worked in that particular instance. I probably should have just killed the Harima, honestly. I should have killed the Harima with Georgid. And, um... Then when... Yeah, that was dumb. I should have done that. I should have killed Harima with Georgid, and then when um, Duchess revived them, killed them again. That would have made more sense. All right, one second. I'm going to take the check. All right, we got a Duchess and a Harima. We'll open with our classic. Got six star Ward of the Fallen on the Harima and a six star, um, what's it called? Six star Polymorph on the Duchess. Wish I had Kaja. Kaja would help with this stuff so much. I cannot wait to build her. She would be such a better option than Deacon in so many of these teams. Oh no, he stole my Georgian. Um. I think we go Rhonda. And actually, no, we don't go Rondo. We go Alsgore Jetney. I think this is literally the exact team I told uh, Nub Raids. You want to run Alsgore Jetney in. <laughs> the only scary part is that Duchess has a six star polymorph, which is rough. We could end up losing this if Je uh, Jetney gets. Okay, it's in stone skin. Perfect. I was going to say, we could end up losing this if Jetney gets. Polymorphed. 
Um, I think we want to do this. What the hell? Did we proc a, um, a weak hit or something? Well, uh, let's see what he does. If he's smart, he'll kill the Staltus. What the hell? Oh, we locked him out. He only has his A1. Never mind. We're fine. We're, we're totally fine. I was like, George is going to kill me through the um, block damage, but because he does not have his... Because he only has his A1, it's fine. I think we're actually doing really well because Jetney is going to come in and she's going to... Oh, we're going to block the decrease attack as well. We might lose Warlord right here. Oh, nope. Well, that was dumb. Jetney's going to proc the extra turn after she kills them. Perfect. Um, I think we should hit Duchess and let Staltus kill the Harima. Just because it's harder to kill Duchess with Staltus. Okay. I think uh, Jetney should get a turn. Even if she doesn't, we'll get a revive before she does. Perfect. Beautiful. You're kind of shocked that Jetney didn't kill um, Georgia, but I guess she didn't have the increased attack because he banned the Arbiter. But because he banned the Arbiter, he couldn't hit through the block damage. One unfortunate thing is that I think, um, ooh, plus two Sifi. I think Alsgore's gear is probably going to end up on Arbiter <laughs> once we get a protection and uh, ring or something that we can put on Arbiter because he's got like quad roll protection gear. Of course, then her gear will move to someone else, and then their gear will move to someone else, and you know we'll rearrange everything, but. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Alsgore in the future. Um, okay, so... Let's do... No. I think we go Georgian. We get George and Staltus. Yeah, I I, I want to pick UDK, but the problem is, is he's sitting on this plus two Sifi, and if he picks like a uh, Yumiko, and then bans my Arbiter, and I ban his Sifi, then the Yumiko is probably gonna lock out my world, like walk out my team, <clears throat> and I'll be screwed. So I have to keep the option to pick a fast support after I ban his CP. Um, and yeah, this is exactly why. So how do we want to play this? I think we're screwed, honestly. I think we're completely screwed. I think our best bet is to go UDK. No. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, well, I'm just picking him. Um, I think this is my only shot. Yeah, we're, we're kind of screwed. I, there's no way we're going to win. I mean, I'm assuming his plus two CP is faster than my Arbiter, but with the... Um, with the Hefrak, or the Hegemon. I mean, as long as it's a new Hegemon, it can one-shot me, which it is not. Okay, that certainly changes things. 
We're still in an extremely vulnerable state because everyone's locked out, but we are going to be able to pull this off. If we locked that um, Rhodos, it would have been ideal. Oh, wow. Why did he go for the... Um... Why did he go for the Warlord? That's weird. This guy should build a Nuker Hegemon. Um, go here, I guess. Okay. Ah, he's gonna sleep. Yeah, fucking Seafy, man. So overpowered. All right, GG. I mean, there's a small chance that... Oh, we got another sleep. I was like, there's a small chance that uh, Staltus literally one-shots the whole enemy team right there. But now I think it's too late. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there's a teeny hope. I assume he's going to have Fate of Destruction. Yeah, okay. No. no shots. I mean, we lost that in the pick phase. It would have been a miracle if we won that, but... If we had a super fast Kaja in a one piece stone skin, I might have done the trick. Could have pushed Arbiter or could have push, pushed Seafy back and then could have turn meter boosted, cleansed, block debuffed my team. And then would have come down to whether the Seafy could get the Rotos to go before my Georgid, which my Georgid probably would have gone first. Depends on how fast the Rotos was. But Kaja could have got us that win too. Um, okay. Obviously, we're going to have to do something very different here. Oh, I didn't even realize this is the same guy. Um, we're going to do this. I'm going to pick Pythion Candrophon, I think. Assuming he goes with the same strat. Well, actually, no. No matter what he does, I'm going to pick Pythion Candrophon. Actually, if he doesn't pick... If he doesn't pick Kaimar... Maybe we go. No, I think we just. I think we just go Candrophon. Pythion. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. Let's just do this. Now I'm leaning towards banning the Taurus. Arbiter is definitely the weak link here, but if he doesn't pick... Huh. 
Yeah, I think we ban the Taurus. I was thinking maybe we could get away with um, not banning the Taurus, like banning the CP and then like trying to stun the Taurus with Pytheon, but, or with Staltus, but the, um, the Cardio would have cleansed it, so it wouldn't work. That was dumb. Uh, let's see. I think we just... I don't think we're going to be able to kill the Rotus anyway, so let's just see if we can slam some damage in here. Uh, let's see if we can buff strip. Interesting choice. Dude, I am not hitting him for anything. It's like kind of crazy, actually. Uh, might as well go ahead and revive. Oh, that sucks. Oh, what? Oh, really? Is he just like a tiny hair above the threshold? That's unfortunate. This guy's being kind of weird. I don't really get what he's trying to do. Like, why hasn't he used the, the revive? Oh, there he goes. Okay. Is he going to sleep the Pytheon? Yeah, I thought he might. These teams are so odd. Or his, like, his, his choices. Choice and abilities are so odd. Ooh, okay. Well, that's rough. Um... Might as well use this. I think Arbiter's going to die anyway. I feel like he should have been able to win this by now, to be honest. I feel like he's doing weird-ass shit. So does my Kandrophon have, like, an absurd cooldown or something on his... Acid? Why is he not going into stealth? Alright, I'm gonna leave this fight. This is gonna go on forever. I don't know what he's doing either. I feel like he should have won that a long time ago. He's just playing bad. Okay, we got another Seafy pick. Oops, let's put Warlord in front.
Um. I think I have to pick Deacon here. Definitely going to go with the surprise Georgid. But I assume he's going to try and go first. This uh, Polymorph Blessing on the Wukong is very curious. Don't know if that means it's a support Wukong or not. But it would be kind of weird to pick your three supports. Okay, it looks like it is. Um, so let's just go ahead and bring in Georgid. We'll go ahead and ban the Seafy. Okay, he bans Arbiter. That's perfectly fine. I feel like we would have had more hope um, banning someone other than Arbiter because now. Actually, I guess if CP got brought in, that could have been a problem. Yeah, we'll go ahead and. Ooh, we did not kill the Duchess. It's unfortunate. I think we should be fine here, though. Yeah. I mean, I guess this. Uh, what's it called? Telecath could take me out but nope okay cool all right well that was good um all right well that's the fights for today how do we do we won one two three four five <laughs> that sounds about right win half lose half um we're still hovering around 3800 man i just cannot break past this maybe when we book out georgia we'll be able to make some progress but that is going to be it for the fights today um subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet just getting close to a thousand subs which i'm super stoked about and that is gonna be it i will see you all in the next one cheers